Today I'm talking about the differences in the alternators that Briggs and Stratton uses on their recent model engines and how to diagnose them. So this here is the Intec series. This is a single cylinder engine used on much of the smaller, you know, 46, 42 inch riding mowers, zero turns, different outdoor power equipment. And this engine here is uh, an older version of the V-Twin Intec, which is used on the rider on, and zero turn models with larger decks like 50, 54, 48. And these are the two alternators I'm talking about today specifically. This is the Briggs & Stratton dual circuit unregulated stator alternator. And this here is the 10 amp regulated alternator. So I have right here the Briggs & Stratton repair manual and you can see here the different stators um, slash alternators they use. Um, here's the dual circuit which is the one on that single cylinder intake. You can see that it has a white connector and it has a red and black wire. That is an unregulated alternator it puts out both AC and DC voltage so it puts out 2 to 4 amps DC for the charging of the battery that is its own circuit it also puts out 14 volts AC for the lights so you can see here this red here's the diode and this becomes the 12 volts uh, DC and it goes straight to your battery this black one here is AC voltage, no diode, and it goes to your lights right here. So these headlights are run off of 14 volts, approximately AC voltage, and they will only work with the engine running. Whereas this stator is a regulated alternator and it only puts out AC voltage, which goes to the regulator and gets converted to regulated DC voltage which goes to your battery it also runs your electric PTO and it also runs your lights so on this model the lights will work whenever the key is turned on it's run off of the battery so the reason I'm replacing the stator is because it has the wrong one in it it's supposed to have this one and for some weird reason they put a unregulated dual circuit alternator in it and plugged it into a regulator which this one is not supposed to use and the tractor is supposed to have this one because the headlights run off of the battery not the 14 volts AC so this here is the alternator we've just been looking at it's a regulated 10 uh, or 16 I'm not quite sure I think it's 10 amp stator output wires are two black and this one uses a regulator so when we go into the troubleshooting section they tell you how to test um, each alternator that's used in different engines so right here is the dual circuit alternator the one that has the red and black wire So you can see there, it, it gives an explanation for how it works. DC current for battery charging and independent AC circuit for headlights. Battery is not used for lights, so the lights are available even if battery is disconnected or removed. And there's a figure of how to test it. And that's the end of that. So when you check the voltage coming out of this 
alternator, you should put one of your leads in this black one, and you put your other on engine ground, and you set your meter to AC voltage, right there. And you should get somewhere around 14 volts uh, with the engine running. Now to check the DC voltage, you're going to put your meter uh, on DC, right there, and you're going to put one of them in here, this red, you put one of your leads in this red um, pin on the connector, and your other one on engine ground, and you should get around 14 volts DC for charging the battery. Now this specific engine, I was not getting any charge with the battery, and so then when I pulled the connector and did that, I only got 10 and a half volts coming out of this uh, red wire here. So this stator is bad, I gotta replace it. Now here's how to test the 10 and 16 amp regulated alternator. You can see the explanation there. And there's a diagram there. So you can see on this 10 or 16 amp regulated alternator, you put one of your leads in this one and your other in there. And you set your meter to volts AC and you see if it is at least 20 to 30 volts AC with the engine at full throttle. So you can see these are completely different systems of how they get the job done. You can't use this test for that alternator. So the reason I'm replacing this one is obviously because it was putting out too low voltage. I know it's bad. And this one, because they have the wrong one in it, and I was getting 18 volts at the battery. But there's just a little bit of info on how to test these alternators. Obviously there's other things you can do like diode test, as you saw in the manual, and uh, regulator test. I'm just going to be replacing the entire alternator and regulator. It's cheap enough to replace the regulator. I'm just going to get a whole new system because with this mismatched alternator, it's very likely it damaged this. So, and also the battery could be bad. Thanks for watching.